Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Lelo. Lelo is a platform that allows businesses and also social media personalities to create a landing page that they can connect better with their subscribers or their viewers and you'll be able to do exclusive drops on this platform. It also offers numerous other features which you can integrate on different social media platforms. You can sign up on Lelo for completely free. As you can see right here with their free plan you'll be able to create drops, try out the platform with limited features and messaging and you'll get 250 message credits. And if we were to go up to their paid plan, which starts off at $10 per month, you can see right here, you will get access to one email, three Facebook messengers, Instagram DMs, SMS and SMS marketing. And you can see right there, their paid plan goes up to $25 per month. So now let's sign up. Once you have entered your email address and you have verified your email address, you will be led to this dashboard. From here, we are going to tap on creator or brand. Then you can pick your link. So let's say, for example, I want my link to be test 87 Then I'll tap on next in the bottom right hand corner. After you have done that, you can choose to add your Instagram handle right here or you can add a profile image and a profile name so i'll simply call my profile simple answers then i'll tap on next right here after you have tapped on next you will be redirected to this page so you can see an example of how my page looks right here all you'll need to do now is tap on looks good then after you have done that you can choose to upgrade if you want but for now, I will tap on skip as we will be exploring this plan on the free on the free plan right here. We'll be exploring the platform on the free plan. So the first thing you want to do is let's create a drop. So you can tap on create a drop right here. After you have tapped on create a drop, you will see this dashboard. Now on this dashboard from here, you can add media. So you'll be able to create a landing page where fans can sign up for your drop. So you can do that by tapping right where you see add media. So let's say for example, I were to add a random thumbnail. Just for example sake, I will add this random thumbnail right here. Then I'll tap on add. After you have done that, you could add the title. So let's say just for example, test. Then you could add a description. Let me close this real quick. All you'll need to do now, you can scroll down right there. You could add a description. Then you can choose the drop day. You can also choose the drop day right here. Let me see how to close this sidebar right here. So let's create our first drop. So you can see create a landing page where fans can sign up for your drop. So you're going to tap on add media. We'll tap on the plus right here. Then let's say, for example, I were to use this random thumbnail just for example sake. So you can see it right there. Then you can choose whether you like it to be a banner, horizontal, or free form. I'm going to tap on apply crop. Then you can add a title. You can add a description right there. And you can scroll down. Then you can also choose the drop the message by toggling this on. You can type the message that you would like your subscribers or your viewers to see. And you can choose the day that you want to drop it. But I will leave it as is. The next thing that you can do right where you see public fans can sign up. You can tap right there. If you only want it to be a draft, you can tap on that. Then you could tap on save. And you can also preview the drop right here so you can see how it looks. So this is how it looks at the moment. In the future, if you would like to share it, you could simply tap on share. Then from there, you can copy the code right there or you could download the QR code and you could share the QR code. Also, if you would like to get notified when this drop, you could simply add your phone number right here to get notified. Now, let's go back. So that is basically how you would create a drop. 
Another thing that you can also do is if we were to go back, you can tap on messages from the left hand menu option. So let's tap on messages real quick. From here, you'll be able to message your fans. So you can see here, but with this, we'll need to go on the paid plan. So with this platform, you can also send SMS messages. So you can tap right here and you'll be able to type your message. You can view your sent messages, your SMS response. So you can create response that will auto. You can create auto response better yet. You can also use it to do email marketing by tapping on email templates. You could tap on build your own template right here. Then from here, you could add your template name. Let's say, for example, test. Then you can tap on save template. You can build the layout as you can see right here. So you can add any component that you would want on your email. Then you will tap on save template to save it. So you can also use it for email marketing. And you can view your fan base by tapping on fans from the left hand menu option. And you can tap on playbooks also. And by tapping on playbooks, you can see the featured playbooks right here. So you can see the different features, you can choose music, you can choose merch, and you can see what other persons are doing. And by tapping on guides also from the left hand menu option, you will be redirected to a new page. And by tapping on guides, you'll see different FAQs with anything in the future that you would like to learn how to do on Leo. But let's go back to Leo real quick. If we were to go over to the left hand menu option once more, we could tap on settings right here. And from here, you can make any changes you want on your account or if you would like to integrate other platforms. So let's say, for example, you want to integrate Facebook pixels. You can do that. You can also add TikTok pixels if you want. And by scrolling down again, if you are on the pro plan, you can also add your Shopify store. You can also add Koji, but you'll need to be on the pro plan. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.